Today I'm going to be tackling a little known game called Assassin's Creed 2, an open world game that takes real world events and puts their own spin on it. We play as Desmond, a guy who enters the Animus to peek into Ezio's life as he becomes an assassin in Italy. To earn this platinum trophy and all 51 trophies, we'll need to finish the amazing story while keeping an eye on one trophy called Fly Swatter, which is the only missable trophy unless you have the DLC or you're playing the remastered version like I am. In that case, you don't have to worry about missing anything at all. But that's only step one of three. Step two, we're going to need to grab all of the collectibles. And then finally, step three, grab anything we have left. Usually combat related or just random things. All that weighs in at a 4 out of 10 difficulty, and it'll take us 25 hours. So, let's do this. SCO is born, and we grab our first trophy. Get up. Let's go. The birth of an assassin. Be reborn. It's Ezio at the door. We then beat up some guards, escape up Sturgo, and bag another trophy. Oh, man. We're almost there. Hello, Desmond. Go away. <laughs> so, how does this work? Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well. Now that we've escaped all them noobs, we get somewhere Here safe we and we re enter the animus. There it is, Assassin's Creed 2. Let's go. I'm so excited to play this. It's been way too long. All right. So it's Vieri. You better hide. So freaking cool. Keep looking! May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. I'll kill you! Oh, no, no, that's not necessary. Guards, guards, voglio la sua testa! There's really no need for violence. As I'm running around, I get a super easy one here. Get some exercise in and grab this trophy. Lightning strike. Sprint for 100 meters. Oof, we got the outfit. Ezio's family's hanged. Sad days, but I get another trophy, so happy days in the end, really. Jesus. Oh, family gone. What's all that? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell was that? They threw a stone at me while I was doing a synchronize. We now perform a sick leap of faith. Woo! High dive. Perform a leap of faith from the top of the Florence Grotta's uh, Campanile. Good stuff. Grab our first glyph and piece of the puzzle. Tip of the iceberg. Use your eagle vision to scan a glyph in the environment. Unlock a piece of the puzzle. Subject 16's video. They were. We then take on another story area. We save our remaining family members, our mother and sister. Do our first stronghold upgrade. Get our 10th viewpoint. I like the view. Synchronize 10 viewpoints. I don't have your money. <laughs> Bro, what the hell? You stealing my shit? Get back here. Hell no. Get your ass back over it, mate. 
You're making a big mistake, my friend. That's my coin. Here we go. I got I you, really little have turd. No in hurting you. So give me back my money, and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. Oh my god, the dude almost failed. I thought you were going to fall for a second. He's out here laughing and stuff and he almost fell. We now take a detour and complete our first tomb. Boom, that move is so freaking cool. I'm being chased, kids! <laughs> oh, that was sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. Undertaker, discover the assassin's tomb inside the catacombs under Santa Maria. Kill the mailman. Ooh, mailman. Intercept a uh, bogier carrier. Nice. Take out another noob and get another trophy. Bloody Sunday. Complete DNA sequence four. Complete an assassination mission. Ooh, assassin for hire. Complete your first assassination mission for Lorenzo. We then take on another two tombs. Yo, that climb was so fun. Choir boy, discover the assassin's tomb inside Santa Maria del Fiore. Yeah, that was a that was such a fun climb. Damn, look at the view from up here. That's a crazy view. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I can see your house from here. Discover the assassin's tomb inside the Torre Grassa. Grab another story trophy. On Spiritus. Complete DNA sequence five. Jesus, they really don't want me getting out of it, do they? Then do another two. Prison escape. Discover the assassin's tomb inside the rocker fortress. We then get another three story well, right, trophies. First, we save some woman. Nice, an unexpected journey. Complete sequence six. What the hell? What is this? Where am I? It's Acre. Altair. And we got an Altair flashback. That must be its target. Oh my god, finally. Bro, I have no idea why, but I was stuck on this part for about 15 minutes. I don't remember this section of the game. But, uh... Yeah, for some reason, that took me so long to... I mean, I realised I had to climb up there. I just couldn't figure it out. I just didn't want to climb up. I don't know what the hell that was all about, but... I'm glad I finally got up there. <laughs> Jesus. Bro, I would not want to be having that dream. <laughs> Jesus. Then we do some training as Desmond and then get back into the Animus. Complete training and re enter the Animus. Finally, do another assassination. Ooh! The Merchant of Venice. Sequence 7 is done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, lady. 
Holy cow. I apologize. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Don't run away. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I just robbed the money now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I am a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, let's just let's just continue, shall we? Building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. <laughs> come up with a plan. Okay. Okay. It's not just me who uh who got that, was it? Surely. Am I just is it just me? We now get the only missable trophy for kicking an enemy in this mission. Probably actually hard to miss, to be honest. But it is the only missable, unless you've got the DLC or you're playing the PS4 version. Boom, there it is. Fly swat. Kick a guard while using the flying machine. Which then leads us right into another story trophy. The Impenetrable Palazzo. Hell yes. Let's go. We go around stealing some money. Eee, what's that? Kleptomaniac. Pickpocket. 1,000 florins. Good stuff. Complete another tomb. Bag another story trophy. The hell will that dude's face about? Oh, like someone shitting his cereal. Over the world. Shoot the man. Oosh. <laughs> we then head back home. Do some upgrades to the stronghold, which unlocks this. Your point seems genuine. What do we get here? Reach 80% of your stronghold's total value. To Take out, out these two butt sniffs and get rewarded with another two story trophies. Nice, so we go. Complete sequence 10. Hell yes. The profit complete sequence 11. Next, I go on a spending spree, grab some upgrades for Ezio, and grab this trophy. I'm more coming in soon. Oh, Don't victory be lies in preparation. Get all hidden blades, item pouches, and armor upgrades for Ezio. Complete another tomb. Followed by thy name. Discover the assassin's tomb inside the Basilica. No idea if that's how you pronounce it, but <laughs> we got it. We now go take out the final boss, finish the game, and back the last two story trophies. Sorry, fella. But it's game over. The Vault. Complete DNA sequence 14. An old friend returns. Escape the hideout. Beautiful. We got it beat. Thank you, Altair, for this great gift. May it shield me from my enemies. Nice. We got Altair's outfit now as well. I don't think we actually need to get that for a trophy or anything, but I wanted to grab it. So that concludes step one. Pretty easy. We're now on to step two, which is get all the collectibles. That means all 100 feathers, 8 statues, and all 20 glyphs. Hey, there it is. In memory of Petrucio. No idea if I pronounced that right, but uh, good stuff. That one was a little bit tedious getting all 100 of these things while um, not knowing which ones you've got. Stuff like that, but uh, we got it done, so happy days. Oh. 
My mind is gone. Nice. Unlock all Lucy, 20 pieces of Subject 16's video. Longer. Hell yeah. So now we step two out of the way. It's time for step three. Any miscellaneous stuff that we might have missed. So first we throw some sand at these poor sods. Nice. Stun four guards at once by throwing sand in their face. We run around spending money on the ladies. Oh. Red light district. Spend 5,000 florins on courtesans. We buy a painting of both Florence and Venice. Please come again. Beat some thieves in a race. Nice. Steal at home, win a race against thieves. Poison some dude and then air assassinate him. Ezio, you absolute savage. Boom, Doctor. Doctor, perform an air assassination on a poisoned NPC. Now let's get the hell out of here. Move, bro. Move. Use some cheeky smoke bombs to easily kill 10 enemies without taking any damage. Boom. No hitter. Kill 10 enemies while remaining in conflict without being hit. The smoke bombs came in clutch for this one. Change our colours. Perfect harmony. Tint your clothes with those colours. Uh, wetland and wet. Well, the different wetland colours. Hide a few bodies in hay. Be off Street cleaner. That is hide five dead bodies in a bale of hay. Complete. Defend a woman's honour by beating up a cheating husband. Home, I swear. Get your ass home, you cheating little shit. Boom. Macho man. Randy Savage. Defend a woman's honor. We now wear the cape that we got for collecting all the hundred feathers. We have to wear in every city. That includes the mountains. Boom. Show your colors. Wear the Adore cape in each city. Beautiful. We make five guards look like complete idiots. Boom! Sweeper! Sweep five guards at once by using a long weapon. Woo! Hell yeah. I think we got one more trophy now and the platinum is ours. And finally, we start throwing loads of money around for the final trophy. So, basically, we paid for the platinum. Money for everyone! Man of the people! There it is. Toss more than 300 florins on the ground and then we should get it. Woo! There it is, champs. There it is. Master Assassin. We finally got the Platinum. These dudes are chasing me. Please leave me alone. I want to celebrate my Platinum. Thank you very much. But uh, yeah, there it is. My Assassin's Creed 2 Platinum. Hell freaking yes. Let's go. And that's it. That's my platinum journey for Assassin's Creed 2. The game is still amazing even today and super, super fun. The trophy list altogether is just really good. It's a really fun game. The only downside was the 100 feathers. It was a little bit tedious, a little bit boring. Overall, though, absolutely loved it. Let me know. Do you want to see more Assassin's Creed? And what other games would you want to see me platinum? Leave them down in the comments. I appreciate all comments and I read all of them. So, yeah, thank you for them. Thank you as well for the support on the videos. You guys are absolute legends. With all that though, subscribe in the middle, check out one of the videos on the side, and until next time, thanks for watching, happy trophy hunting, and I'll catch you on the next one.